Hello, my colorful dreamers. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Um, of whether you're new and joining us for the first time, my name is Dee, um, and this is my coloring channel. And for those of you who are returning, thank you again for jumping in and watching this video. So, as you guys know, I have um, talked about finding um, <clears throat> new artists for January, well, for the year 2023, new artists and publishers. And I'm always looking for new artists and publishers. And I found um, a new artist. Her name is Emily Chawa. And <clears throat> her work is absolutely adorable. Um, and, and I have a book to share with you. This is uh, her first volume. I have the second one coming, but I'm going to do the flip of this one, and then I'm going to do the uh, second one uh, tomorrow, I believe, when I get it. Uh, that's what it says I'm supposed to get it. So, um, <clears throat> it's called Life in a Jar, and it kind of looks like the way the cover is, it kind of looks like um, Coco Wyo's, but... Um, as far as I know, she is an independent artist, and uh, the cover just looks similar uh, because the way her name is down here and stuff like that. But um, she is in no way affiliated with uh, Coco Wild. Um, so this is a front cover, and this is the back. You get your six thumbnails. It is mostly kawaii-based. Um, and, um, she has a little excerpt of herself in the back explaining her, who she is. Um, <clears throat> she says, thank you so much for supporting my art. Creating adult coloring books isn't just a hobby. Art is something I need to do on a daily basis. I process all of my emotions and energy and channel them into the pages you just bought. All art is also how I make my living. And then she asks you to leave a review of her book because it makes, you know, uh, people see it and, you know, it puts her out there. Um, it does say plus 10 extra bonus pages. Now, the bonus pages are <clears throat> um, actually, they're not in the actual book. You go to, you, I'll show you at the end of the the um, book how you can get the extra bonus, or the 10 extra bonus pages. I have printed them off already, um, but let's get into the book. So, this is your, um, let's see here, there we go. This is your title page, and then coloring erased my stress and anxiety. Oh, a couple of flies there. And she explains, you know, um, a little bit about everything and paper choice and stuff like that. So turn off your anxiety switch. Mental health is more important than ever paper choice and share your coloring art and that's another part that I love that she mentions mental health um, <clears throat> you know because I'm huge on art therapy and um, sharing you know uh, the whole mental health aspect and coloring so this is where you can access her free bonus digital coloring pages so these are the three steps you can do. Um, they're 100% free. <clears throat> it says download to reveal now. I will share those pages with you so you know uh, what you're getting and if you're interested in that. And then we get straight into the book. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> so, like it says, life in a jar and it is a little are different scenarios of different characters and different creatures living in jars or 
you know, doing stuff in jars. So these are little, this is a little frog and some fish and some lily pads. They're really nicely bordered off. They're not overly detailed, but they're, um, you know, they have enough going on on the pages that can keep you focused for a little bit anyways. So scuba diving and their little, you know, island. Looks like little gnomes. And then behind the jar, there's a whole different scene, or not whole different scene, but a scene that incorporates what's happening in the jar. So I think that's cute. I think this one is cute. You know, you got your little uh, teacup and the birds in the tree. <clears throat> I love this one, the angel cat. I think this one is super adorable. Make sure I'm still in frame for you guys because I really want you guys to see this. Um, definitely, if you like these pictures and the, this coloring book, um, definitely check Emily out. Um, super sweet uh, idea. And <clears throat> again, not too over overwhelming. The pictures aren't very overwhelming. They're just perfect. They're just a perfect amount. So that's what I love about it. I'm really looking forward to coloring in it as well as the second one when I get the second one. So I'm super excited. I'm really happy with this and I'm really happy I took a chance on uh, this book. So And uh, don't hesitate to leave your thoughts and your, you know, what you think of the book. If you like it, if you don't like it. Um, yeah. Because, you know, again, <clears throat> the new artists and publishers, they have to start somewhere. And I believe in giving them a chance and, you know. Some work, some don't. So, um, yeah, this one is just one of the ones that I really do like and I'm super happy with. So, little frog and the strawberries all around. That's cute. And this little guy with all his cats. This would be a spicy cat coloring picture for sure. <laughs> Everybody knows she loves her kitties. <laughs> He's just chilling with some munchies. Hmm, I wonder what happened there. <laughs> this one is cute, open for free hugs. Then it says warning and there's like a little directions and then free hugs by the cactus. If you're, I guess, if you're, uh, you know, uh, looking for a prickly hug, I guess. <laughs> or even willing to chance that. This little guy is cute. He's just so happy being where he is and the little bee friends around. Super cute. I really do love this book. It says rainy inside and the little frog. The little storm cloud, grumpy cloud. Huh. It says limited edition and then the cat's fishing for fish. He fell asleep. That's why all the fishies are coming up. This is cute. Cure for loneliness is what this jar is. Small dosage only and too cute to handle. This is cute for Year of the Rabbit. <clears throat> Color picture for uh, Year of the Rabbit. 
handle with care. There's booze in here, it says. <clears throat> And then this little house, I guess it's like a houseboat, and it's anchored down. And everything is in these little jars, and I think that's cute. <clears throat> very whimsical, very sweet. This is a cute picture. I, when I saw this picture, when I first looked through, this is definitely something I probably, most likely color, because it's just me. It's kawaii and it's, you know, super cute. <clears throat> little girl in her swing, in her little jar, reading a book. <clears throat> And <laughs> super cute. I can't say super cute enough because this reminds me of Gary from uh, SpongeBob. So <clears throat> that'll be fun. He's cute. Just all through here. I think those, yeah, it looks like those are poppies. <clears throat> to me, they look like poppies anyways. And this one uh, kind of caught my eye as well when I was flipping through. It says, grumpy gnome, time out bottle, beware, angry gnome inside. And then there's this little guy who's peed off about something. He didn't get his way for some reason. Cheesy overload. Look at it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Bottled love and all the hearts. Warning, highly contagious. Ain't that the truth? And then we have the access the free bonus pages. And um, then we have some color test pages. I think there's a couple of color test pages back here. But... Um, and that one was the Life in a Jar by Emily Chawa, and these are the 10 bonus pages that you can download from um, her website. And that's, uh, these are the 10 bonus pages, the 10 extra pages that she talks about on the front cover. Warning, too talkative, talking bird. A cat in a jar. I guess he got himself stuck. What else is new? Cats are famous for that, aren't they? <laughs> Puppy in space trying to catch his bones, but the helmet just won't allow that. He looks a little frustrated at the same time. <laughs> this one is, I like this one. I love anything space. I love lots of things, but... Little ducky butts. There's the ring down there. The little frog is like, what is happening here? <laughs> little hippie octopus. Is that what we're going to do it? Almost looks like a lava lamp kind of thing going on. <clears throat> and a beer stein with all the little sheep. Hmm, or the, that's a ram. Yeah, the all sheep ram. This one is sweet too. Magical creature, fire hazard, rare. In a jar. <laughs> really cute. And then I think it says jelly beans. Yeah, jelly beans. And then the little pup in the jelly beans. Is that the last page? Yeah, that's the last page. So those are the 10 pages, the 10 bonus pages that you can get within the Life in a Jar by Emily Chawa. 
Um, definitely check her out on Amazon. Super sweet book. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Big hugs to you all. And <clears throat> um, until next time, remember, be kind, stay safe, keep your head up. And again, till next time. Bye, guys.